Step by step. Hey, what's up? Uh, Seabass Step by Step Dance here. Uh, we're in Sacramento at uh, Bring Back the Funk Battle, and I'm here with Ramel. And uh, you've been b-boying for quite some time. Oh, yeah, yeah since 1983. And we're with uh, Universal B-Boy Clothing. Me and my brother, uh, my younger brother is uh, Ramil, but he, they, he, goes, he goes by Grump. And then Ramon, he's, uh, he's like 38 years old now. He, he was one of the youngest of all of us. B-boying. So, uh, yeah, I've been b-boying for quite some time, over 20 years, you know. Okay. Over, shoot, it's been almost 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> over 30 years. I mean, I'm, I'm still, still going? Uh, you know, I get down a little bit still. Okay. You know, I still can get down. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I still can get You're down. You're shaking off a little dust. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, I ain't got the stamina like I used to. So, back in the day, what got you started into b-boying, dancing? Well, back in the day, we, you know, we really couldn't, we just, we couldn't do it at a place like this, mm -hmm. you know, like, like my uh, niece right here was asking me back in the day, did you do this at places like it? No, we had to go on the street straight up. Go to San Francisco, Pier 39. We would we would battle other guy other crews from 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 the Bay Area, and um, you know popping. We I popped so you know me, but we our crew was a Universal Breaking Crew. That's what we were called. But we would we would battle all over like Santa Rosa. Uh, all the way to Reading, we were like movie stars. Man. We Reading? Up oh yeah. Hey, battles in Reading. Well, we we did a, a show there. Oh okay. Yeah, uh, at the mall there, and the girls were like, "Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are these guys are back in there fresh." Remember, yeah. Remember the word fresh? Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that, that boy's fresh. We're bringing it back, fresh. <laughs> yeah, fresh. <laughs> From Reading to San Ysidro. <laughs> uh -huh. And cool. any other questions you want to ask? Yeah, yeah. Um, so talk a little bit about maybe just the scene um who were like some big hitters out in san francisco or bay area oh, back in the, the day the back in the day the big hitters was like uh there was a cat named uh, wizard he had a pretty unique style a lot of waves isolation not so so more than now you know the isolation is like like that kind of stuff he was clean mm -hmm. and then you had um the you know you got the other bay area style you know demon of the mines you have a uh, uh, God. There's so many. I just forget. But I grew up in I grew up in a city. I came. I moved to Fairfield in 1979. Uh, okay. So demons in mind. I lived in the Fillmore. That's my. That's the style I, I dance. Okay. The, the, uh, you know, real slow and then really hitting. You know, that's that. That was our, the San Francisco style. That now they incorporated a lot of boogaloo. You know, from L.A. LA is boogaloo style, you know that. Very, very. Like uh, Turbo. Mm hmm. Remember it? The floating, and we battled them guys back in the day. Too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, what was yeah. that like? What was that like to. Uh, he really didn't. He he came to a, a, a event in Kizar Stadium. Okay. It's in the Hate District. And him and uh, Boogaloo Shrimp were there. Um, they were just at guests, but you know, my brother wanted to call them out. He was like, holy. You know, he he did his flow better than him. He was like, yeah, my brother grew up in there. Oh my God, he was, he was a monster back in the day. Yeah. But, so he called out Turbo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was it a pretty hype battle? It was. I was hyped. Yeah. <laughs> he did a little thing, and then he just went back. He said, oh man, and then he came up to us. He's like, man, it, you you guys you guys got it going on. Right. Took it to right. A new level. Yeah. So 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 from that point, um, kind of where you started and everything. Um, do you, like where did it go from there? Did you continue on with it? Actually, I we, I mean you you're know, here today still. Can, can yeah, it know. actually you know it it started to like fade away, like 86, 85. Really, we didn't really break as much. You know. Do you think that's because maybe it became too commercial or it, or it just kind of just faded away? It just faded away. That's what I thought. Yeah. Until um, in ninety, what was it ninety four? You know the Zulu Nation. Okay. You know, I know um, Crazy Legs. Okay. You know we know him from Rocksteady Crew. Right. Right. Um, he, they did an underground breaking in downtown San Francisco. It was under. It was it was great underground though. It was wow. like a you couldn't even tell they were breaking there. And it was a crowd. It was just, and we were like, holy moly, they're still they're still b-boying. 
since then, I you know I have kids and mm -hmm. had to take care of my kids and Definitely. all that. But uh, we kept going. Then we made a uh, we made our our clothing clothing line about 2000. So went back to we made our clothing line and it, it is what it is, it is today. You know, it's not we don't make a lot of money on it. We, we do it for more for the kids. Yeah. You know, the other generation. Give us uh, just as final just some words of inspiration for kids coming up now. And, uh, you know, just from kind of what you learned in dancing to kind of where you see it now, you know, some words of inspiration for kids. You kids, you guys need to keep it real, have some originality, and everyone does the same things, but you just got to make it better. They don't got no you know treat. I mean? all, all of us, there ain't no biters. Everyone's learned the same, same moves, but you just got to do it better. Impress the judges. <laughs> Thank you, Ramel. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right, OG.